lightweight championship fight between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Charles Oliveira. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. Here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Nurmagomedov is one year his senior. Oliveira will have a four-inch reach advantage. We send it inside the octagon. We find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Lavin. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 30 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Charles Dobrox. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Habiba, the Eagle, Nimago Meda! UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. 
You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing his skill every single day. Effective punch there by Nervago Meta. Got the single collar tie. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. And now he's got that tie clinch. Oh, slams him down with authority, DC. Now we'll see what he can do with it, but certainly an impactful moment in the round. He slams him down with so much conviction, and nothing is more discouraging for your opponent than being lit. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. It's in there deep. There you go. Not tapping out tonight. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nermago Medoff. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Under two minutes to go. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that one. <laughs> Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Punches block. Go for the single. Get the takedown. We need it. You need the takedown now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Single collar tie now. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. To try to take him down. There you go. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Oh, take him down, cut him. Take him down, cut him. Over and over. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Oh! Now he falls back into the finishing position. Somehow stays in the fight. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. 
All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and gotta be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. Well, if you like wrestling and you like takedowns, I guess that's the round for you. He really had his way with his opponent there. Yeah, he was able to secure many takedowns, switching up the techniques constantly, changing the angle, never allowing his opponent to get a beat on what type of finish he was trying to go to. Boy, Ty Plum stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Right hand punch to the clinch. Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. Nurmagomedov's pass attempt denied. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. He's going to tag off bar here. Oh, we're getting a finish here. This might just be a matter of time. He got it. He got it, John. Oh, he got it done, absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there is the man they are all chasing at 155 pounds, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion. And how about the way he got it done tonight? A spectacular submission to finish the job. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 48 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. And still! Many argue it's the UFC's toughest weight class. It's one of the more difficult belts to defend, but he certainly did just that here tonight. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your winner by submission. And now all that's left to do is to celebrate with the corner. Big finish and a big result here tonight.